You've got every right to be slightly fucked off about it. Because I would be if I cooked that shit. Morgan's restaurant is an all-woman-run business. Trouble is, it's not been run very well. And the chef over there wants to fucking laugh about it. What do you want me to do? I'm going to take your stand in there, fucking smile me off. It's serving mountains of expensive stodge. But there's a much bigger problem. The women can't decide who's in charge. A recipe for disaster. It's a struggle sometimes, and, you know, we kick off and we scream at each other and stuff. Do you know what's wrong with Arthur? It just is a nightmare, and I've resigned so many times. Sandy claims to be running Morgan's, but I wonder how good a manager she really is. I've decided to look at her accounts and find out. Come on. What price? How long have you been here? Uh, about two years. Nice. So where's the office? Sort of here. That's, that's the office there? Yeah. God. How do you manage? I don't. It's difficult. It needs uh, to be bigger. The desk needs bloody to be bigger. hell. It's hell, because I can't lay anything out. Well, look at it all jammed in there like I that. I know, I know. Sandy's account books are completely haywire. Where's your target? I need to do that. Yeah, but... No, I've... I, I've got These it. are just till... No, no, I've got that written down. I have got that written down. Where's that? Um, I, well, I can't put my hands on it right now. But you can't put your find. hands on it right now. What have you got out of it in three years? Money financially. Yeah. Uh, well, we haven't. <laughs> I haven't. How much have you lost in three years? I don't know. Running a restaurant is a full-time job, not an occasional hobby. If Sandy can't even organise the books, it's little wonder she's hired a chef whose mouth is bigger than his talent. Right, chef. Morning. Morning. How are you? Not too bad. You? Yeah, very well, thank you. Thanks, Kev. Um, yeah. Yeah, slightly concerned, but um, a good sleep. Yourself? No, not a good kiff at all. Damn, why? Because of last night. Uh-huh. Well, that was last night. This is today. That's a good attitude. Today's another day. Mm -hmm. We live and learn. How long have you been cooking? Phil's got more confidence than ability. He's never had any formal training. But Sandy makes his job tougher because she won't pay him for preparation time. The menu, right, it's just basically being thrown together. Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to come in at nine in the morning. What I, do you mean I, you're not allowed? Well, Sandy doesn't want us to come in at nine o'clock in the morning. I get so in. So how do you get ready for service? I come in at four o'clock and it's a case of throwing it together. Even I can't get fucking ready from four o'clock in the afternoon. Now it's starting to make sense why you're fucking so defensive. Totally understand. It's not entirely your fucking fault. What I want to do is fucking work together on it. No, Sandra, look forward to it. You still want to punch me? No, I'll save that, I'll save that all next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good.